What's up everyone? My name is Chase Sharaba and this is another episode of Tutorial Tuesday where I teach you how to do something every other Tuesday. For this episode of Tutorial Tuesday we're going to talk more Adobe InDesign. This time we'll be using 2018 instead of 2017 because I finally updated all of my Adobe apps. I know, it took me a month. They are all updated and I have been using the 2018 versions. So last time we covered some of the basic tools and this time we're going to talk all about that pen tool. Oh, my favorite. But first, let's roll that intro. Welcome back to another episode of Tutorial Tuesday. Like I said before, today we are talking Adobe InDesign pen tool. Pen tool is my favorite tool in Adobe InDesign, and it's probably the tool that you can use the most as a designer to really make your pages, your posters, whatever you're doing pop. This video is intended for beginners, and I'm going to show you how to get started using the pen tool, and how to practice, and how to get better at it. Hope you enjoy. Let's jump into the computer right here, and let's get started. Alright, I am now on my Windows 10 PC. I have opened Adobe InDesign Creative Cloud 2018. And let's get started. I'm just going to create a new document. I'm going to leave it in Pikas because that's what I'm used to designing in. Last time I switched it to inches, but you can do whatever you're going to do for your project. I'm going to leave it in Pikas. This is an 11 by 17 inch tabloid sheet much like many newspapers are. So to start out I'm just going to go over some of the basics of the pen tool and what it's used for just to give you an overview of what the tool is. So over here on your toolbar you'll have your pen tool and if you have any of these selected it may look like that I just had this selected so I just switch it back to pen tool. But your pen tools here in your toolbar and the pen tool can be used for many things. The most popular use of the pen tool is probably to draw things because you can draw any sort of custom shape that you want, any sort of design, and that's how a lot of the major designs in InDesign are done, is using the pen tool. But you can also use it for other things as well. We're just going to get into some of the basics in this video. So to get started you're going to click somewhere on your document. I'm going to click right there. This just created an anchor point. If you click anywhere else, it's going to add your end anchor point or your next in or your next anchor point depending on if you're drawing a line or a shape. So I'm going to click right there. So I added two more anchor points. Add one here in the middle and added one right here. This is your ending anchor point so far. If we click again, it's going to add another anchor point, and again, another anchor point. All the pen tool does is connect each anchor point with a line. You can continue to add anchor points and draw as long as you want. Whatever you're going to draw, you can add as many anchor points as you want and keep drawing with the pen tool. So you can just mess around. Hey, it's an E. So if you want to stop drawing with the pen tool, you can either click away and that'll save your selection, or if you're going to make an actual shape that you want to fill with color and stuff, or an image, just connect it back to your starting anchor point, and you can click like the arrow selection tool. And now we have this E. Made it with the pen tool. Awesome. It doesn't really look awesome, but for the purpose of this, tu this tutorial, it's awesome. There's some other tricks to the pen tool. If you're drawing a shape and you hold and drag, it'll create an arc. It'll curve the line for you. So obviously this is useful in many situations. I'm just going to mess around here make some loops and some curves. and Yay! So that's what it'll do if you hold it down and drag. There's some other options. If 
you right click the pen tool you'll see some of these other tools that are used very frequently with the pen tool add anchor point tool will add another anchor point to your drawing wherever you want and this is really useful and we'll get into why in a minute but you can add anchor points wherever you want you can also delete anchor points with the delete anchor point tool and that just gets rid of them so these are useful for modifying what you've drawn with your pen tool so if we go to convert direction point tool and we select one of these dark anchor points that are filled in it'll convert all of them to having no fill then you can use your direct selection tool right here the white arrow and you can actually select an individual anchor point and move it around so this allows you to modify your drawing in many different ways and it, as you can see there I did not intend to do that I accidentally clicked away and moved it it converted them all back to the selection tool which just lets you move the drawing like normal so to get back to where you're supposed to be just convert them again and use the direct selection tool and it lets you modify any part of the shape that you want so with the drawings that you've drawn with the pen tool you can add any color any sort of stroke to it that you want so let's just take this E thing and if you go over to stroke a lot of times it'll start with no stroke so if you hit W on your keyboard this is what your page will actually look like nothing showing up because there's no stroke no fill no anything the pen tool just drew so I'm gonna add some weight to it let's do like a 5 so now you can see we've got this E shape with a black stroke so I'm gonna go to color and I'm gonna add a fill I'm using CMYK because I am used to designing newspapers and stuff. If you're designing for the web or anything digital, you're going to want to be in RGB right here, just by clicking that. But I'm in CMYK, which is intended for print. I'm going to click on this over here, which is my fill color, which is currently empty. There's no fill. I want to do like a nice green, just because. Um, Oh, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, but I'll just say that's a good green. So now you've added a fill and you've added a stroke to your image. And look at that. You've drawn something. So something that you can do to get good at using the pen tool and just learning how to draw and just feel comfortable using the pen tool is to trace images. So in a minute, I'm going to choose some random image from the internet, some random photo, and we are going to actually create something. We are going to trace something, and that'll just be to show you how you can trace anything as you're learning how to use the pen tool and just get comfortable with it. So this is just an image I pulled off of the internet. It's a mixer, and I'm going to use this to teach you the principle of tracing. So just as you're learning the pen tool, you may want to start out tracing images like this. It's a photo of a mixer. So when you're starting out learning the pen tool, I just recommend tracing photos. Just learn how to draw and create with the pen tool, and then you'll eventually be able to do stuff on your own. So like for this mixer, I'm just going to select the pen tool. And I'm going to start just following it, adding an anchor point with the, using the pen tool every time. Um, let's see, I'm just going to start with this part first, and I'll do the 3D later. It doesn't have to, don't worry about it being perfect, it doesn't have to be perfect. All you're going to be doing right now is whatever you're doing, it doesn't have to be a mixer, whatever you are going to be tracing just to learn how to draw something don't worry about it being perfect the first time you're going through it's just a draft you can fix it later and I'm gonna show you how to fix your graphics once I'm done with this I'm not gonna show you how to draw the whole mixer 
I'm just gonna get some of it started here and then I'm gonna finish it up and show you how to fix my draft just cause I don't want to have to sit here drawing this whole thing and taking up your time because you're gonna draw it you're gonna trace whatever you're gonna trace but just to get us started here just to show you the idea I'm gonna put like a stroke around it I'm gonna change the color of it maybe nope wrong one yeah, I'm gonna maybe go for like a light blue mixer like that so you can see what I've drawn now and you're just going to continue tracing whatever you're drawing until it's done I mean every detail so like if you want to do other parts whereas I just have the background here if you hit control and the left bracket key will push that behind the image and it'll move it to the back and control and the right bracket key will bring it to the front so if you want to draw the other details on there you can move that to the back and then like you can start drawing some of these details like if in your mixer if you decide to draw a mixer you can now trace that part with the pen tool so now when I make that gray you can move that back and you can keep going with all your details and then if we just remove that you can see here you've got a mixer with a gray band so I'm gonna keep working on this and I'm gonna come back to you when it's done and I'm gonna show you how to make it a little better looking Okay, now I've drawn a very rough outline of a mixer here. It looks like a mixer, but of course, you know, there's some gaps here and some inconsistencies and not everything's perfect. So now I'm just going to show you how to fix whatever you've drawn to make it look a little better. So your object, you can choose to keep the stroke or not. I mean, it depends on what you want to do. Um, for this I'm just gonna get rid of the stroke so getting rid of the stroke you're kinda left with the real more realistic representation of a mixer I guess and now some of them may have strokes some of them may not have strokes we just have to rearrange stuff how we want it now I'm gonna zoom in here because this obviously needs to be fixed so what I'm going to use for this is I'm going to convert direction tool here to convert the anchor points I'm just going to move them up which makes it look a little better so you may be looking at these right here and you may be like I don't know, that's not really a curve. So the way to fix this is to use the smooth tool. It's usually your pencil icon here. You right click on pencil, select smooth tool. And now I'm just going to go through here. It's going to make it a lot more natural. So the smooth tool will just make that look a lot nicer. And we can use the smooth tool on every portion of this that we want to. The smooth tool works even better if you're using it across a larger distance like whereas before I was just kind of using the smooth tool on these. If you actually do it on like this whole piece it's going to create a much more perfect arc.
I'm not going to make the whole thing perfect, but as you can see, this is a graphic. With a little bit more work, it could actually be usable. Overall, you've got a pretty nice design here, so that's just tracing. Whatever you're going to trace, it, it can be something difficult and take hours, or it can be something simple like this mixer that only took me like a few minutes to do. Whatever you're tracing, it's just going to get you to practice using the pen tool and eventually you're going to realize that you can start drawing stuff on your own. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Hope that it helped you, maybe got you started with exploring the pen tool and what it has to offer on InDesign. As always, if you have any questions about what I discussed or if you want to know more about the pen tool, maybe I didn't quite answer your question, go ahead and leave a comment and I will try to respond to all of them. So and I may even address the question in a future video. And if you have anything that you would like me to do a tutorial on, just let me know. Like I said, I've been using InDesign for five years, so there is a lot of stuff that I can do that I might not be thinking of when I'm doing these tutorial videos. So if there's something that you've been wanting to do, but you don't know how to do it, just ask, and I might be able to do a video to show you how to do that.